Okay, guys, welcome back. Now we're talking about a thing, but I don't want to go um, really into the technical thing because I want it to be very uh, uh, practical. So, guys, um, some people don't call it a phase, I call it a phase, P H A S E and um, they just call it that is not a matching and um, this is uh, <laughs> what, what it is you know so let's take two songs and uh, i'm gonna take another one okay we got the two songs right here and uh, look if uh, let me set up this is a fine. If I play to the songs from the intro together, they sounds good. Yeah, they sounds good. They they are in tempo. They are well. The drums lines are uh, in tempo, so everything is a fine. But look, if I just move this one, just uh, in this way. Or in this way. You can say that they are in tempo, and that's right. But to look when I go into the, the make a transition between these two songs. This is what I say. Yeah, this is a little bit messed up. This is because even if we are in time, we didn't choose the right point to make a mix. So here at the face uh, and uh, and the uh, bit uh, matching uh, is a uh, is a uh, is better to to make it uh, uh, in a proper manner. So uh, let's say I am making a mix. I'm gonna move to the outro of this song. And I will make another example because I'm gonna set it in tempo, but the face is a little bit uh, off. So. It was in tempo, but uh, it was <laughs> so bad. You don't want this. You want to make sure that uh, your face uh, is a uh, is a uh, fine, that your timing is a uh, cool. So let me al align this to this point right here. Let's see now how it sounds. <laughs> This is much better, don't you think so? So, the arrangement that we seen earlier, they are important. 
because you want to always be in time. You always want to be in time. And uh, yeah, so it's better to understand them to see in which point you want to make your mix. Okay, in which point you want to make your uh, transition and make them blend in the best way possible. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the waveform and uh, one thing you see many DJs not using uh, so much uh, the pre lesson to a song because if you recall the first uh, the first uh, lesson of um, this module uh, when we talk about the arrangements we can easily see graphically uh, from uh, these waveforms where the where the points are i can say that uh, here i see uh let me zoom in for you for guys so you can understand better you can see here there is no so much movement so this will be the hindro here i see something uh, uh, going on having some movements and uh, here i see that uh, something is happening i see a lot of repetitions so here it must be the building up and uh, here there should be a drop. Yeah. So if I see till here, there is another drop too. So. And here I see there is a break. And here another drop again. And here another break and then uh, so on so you see guys as uh, how easy it is to see the different sections i can finally say this is at the last drop and the how to draw so an, ex an exercise that i wanted you to do is uh, to uh, try to figure out uh, what uh, elements are in the different arrangements how to understand if the arrangements is in the intro or he is uh, in at the in at the uh, you know in the song so pick up uh, maybe your favorite song and uh, try to describe it uh, download it put it in, in every software like a virtual dj that we're gonna use or ableton or fl or um, wherever you want and try to analyze it and understand where these are hard to points okay because I can easily mix and see the waveform and say, okay, I want to make a mix of these two songs, but I don't want to listen to the whole song like in here in Ableton. I just take it and I drop it where I think that the outro is because I see that here there is movements and I make this part, uh, uh, this part uh, kick in. So here I combine them and here my song starts. So my mix is done. It is very helpful when it comes to harder style. In house it's very easy to mix, but we'll see that there are styles that are a little bit different mixing technique. But this is uh, enough for now for you understanding how this kind of things works. So make your exercise. We will make more exercise later when we are going to talk of the mix. But I want you to understand this thing because it's very important. If there are questions, uh, ask me in the second life.